Ashley Gann, who's tracking Nicholas and what it means for us. Ashley. Thanks, Sherry. Right now, Nicholas, as you mentioned, swirling along that Texas Louisiana coastline right now. Winds at about 40 miles per hour, and it is a slow moving storm, only inching along at about six miles per hour. Look at this kind of odd track. It's only expected to move into West Louisiana by tomorrow afternoon. So, how in the world is Alabama going to be impacted? Well, out ahead of Nicholas is a tremendous amount of tropical moisture because winds are prevailing. Out of the south southwest. So it's dragging all of this wet air, priming the atmosphere and creating those outward bands of rain, reaching from Hattiesburg all the way to southwest Alabama right now. So Demopolis is actually seeing that direct effect from Nicholas right now. A few other showers in East Alabama, kind of an indirect impact at this hour. It's really just that tropical moisture. So for tonight, only an occasional raindrop or two, but by tomorrow morning, could be some impactful rain for that morning commute, especially. Along I 20 east of I 65. Between 5 and 7 a.m., that rain begins to move in from the south, and we'll see much better coverage of wet weather for your Wednesday. Highs tomorrow, though, only staying in the 70s. I'll let you know how long this wet weather sticks around. That's ahead in your storm team seven day forecast.